Welcome to Special Collections, a unit of the Department of Archives and Special Collections. Today we'll be taking you through the unique collections housed in the department that are available not only to students of the University of Colorado, but to the general public as well. The Special Collections Reading Room is open by appointment, but also offers walk-in hours, which can be found on the University of Colorado Library's website. We have made a special appointment just for you. Let's get started. The Special Collections Library is housed within Northern Library in the northernmost section of the third floor. The Special Collections Department houses numerous collections of rare and unique materials which are available to be viewed upon request. A knowledgeable librarian will help you identify the resources you need and pull them for you to view in the reading room. Let's take a closer look at what each collection has to offer. Medieval manuscripts are some of the oldest materials housed by the library. Did you know that each manuscript is created entirely by hand? Materials like lapis lazuli and gold leaf often adorn the lavish illustrations seen here. This particular illustration shows St. Eustace being boiled alive. Following the onset of the Gutenberg printing press in 1436, our second collection shows the first printed text available, known as Incunabula. Here you can see a very rare piece of history, a leaf of the Gutenberg Bible, mistitled Ruth instead of Baru. As the printing press evolved, publishers were able to quickly and very accurately reproduce scientific texts that were growing in popularity. Special Collections houses a vast array of early scientific texts, ranging from Hooke's Micrographia to Darwin's On the Origin of Species. Highlighted here we have Hooke's intricately drawn representation of a flea, observed with a compound microscope. Whereas some collections are obtained through purchase, our next collection was donated in its entirety. This collection was formerly owned by Dr. Charles H. Nylon, the first African-American professor hired here at CU in 1956, shown here with his wife Mildred. The Nylon Collection contains works that exemplify a variety of genres. Not only does the Library of Special Collections contain traditional forms of what we view as books, it also includes a few other unique type of publications that might surprise you. For example, Special Collections owns archives from noted authors, which include edited drafts, background research, and letters. An outstanding example is a letter from American poet Emily Dickinson. The library also has one of the largest collections of photo books in the country, along with thousands of original photographs. Photographs in this collection include photographs from 1844 by William Henry Fox Talbot, documentary photography from the Great Depression, and even contemporary artist photography. One of the most unique collections housed in the department is what is known as artist books, which pushes the boundaries of what is typically considered a book. This work takes the form of a felt egg, which houses a paper snake that the viewer-reader can unravel. This letterpress text deals with snake detection theory, which proposes that human vision and intelligence is dependent upon co-evolution with snakes. We hope you enjoyed your tour of the Special Collections Library. Be sure to visit us by appointment or during our walk-in hours.